Um, so, this is my uh, dream collaboration. And I decided to go with the group, um, I'm not shouting, am I? Just, okay. I was like, wait, what is that? Uh, but anyways, uh, this is the K-pop group, BTS, and uh, starting from the left with the silver group guy, all the way to the right, these are the seven members, and um, this is uh, Sugar, J-Hope, Jin, Jungkook, RM, Jimin, and so why BTS? Well, I've actually followed them since like they debuted their second album way back in like 2000, I want to say 12 or 15, um, and they've just been going strong ever since. And I just love K-pop in general, and they've just always been like one of my top tier bands. But also, their overall message with like their music is usually like light and love, like love yourself. Uh, love each other, be creative, uh, follow your passions, and um, their lyrics as well when you translate them to English are just so intelligent and so deep thinking a lot of the times, as well as just catchy and fun too. Um, but what really caught my eye is uh, in Korean pop music, they are very well known for their music videos because a lot of times what bands will do is that they will actually, with certain albums, uh, when they release each song is they'll have like certain themes where you have, the fans are like guessing like what the storyline is and I'm not gonna explain this specific storyline for this uh like music video how it connects in the Wings era album because it's very complex. Um I literally have like two hours to talk about it. But um this song is called Blood, Sweat and Tears and it's one of my favorite albums and it's just very aesthetically pleasing and also has inspired not only me but many other fans to create fan art and just like their own covers of this and I'm going to show you a small clip of uh, the video and uh, actually the part that I got inspired this past year and I did a little piece of it. Um, I don't have a photo of it on the slide but if you want to see me um, afterwards I can show you if you're interested. So I hope you can And the search for the perfect family escaping. Sorry about that. <laughs> At least to find your family. Personality. 
And uh, this one's uh, heresy and um, limbo. Uh, uh, greed, violence, gluttony, lust, and um, basically uh, where I would show it would be in uh, the Nix uh, shop in actually Manhattan, New York. And the reason I chose that is because not only is New York just a great big city, but usually when you want something to go big and spread very fast, uh, you tend to open it and have a premiere in like New York or Los Angeles. And um, also, I just like Nix's uh, main products overall, and I like that they're cruelty free, so that's something that I feel that BTS and me could stand by. And uh, also, uh, part of the donations from this collab will go to uh, domestic violence uh, survivors, just because there's uh, a couple of like darker themes, and I feel like uh, it would just overall feel like good be part of their message and like yes it's a dark theme but we still can do something with like light and love. And um, <clears throat> overall I would bring to the project uh, basically a new fresh kind of take and like I said before uh, mixing both like the catchy poppy uh, type sound of K-pop and their style but also adding uh, bringing out the more darker side which they have done before but I feel like they could explore the English even more. Um, and also, my artwork uh, covers a lot of like mental health issues, and I feel like even though um, outside of this, if we wanted to uh, do more projects together, uh, maybe we could even do something with that. And I feel like a lot of uh, their fans are called armies, and um, I feel like a lot of armies would be able to relate to that if we pushed further in the club. So yeah, that is it. Any questions or comments? Very cool. Do you do you study um, like early Christian artworks at all, as far as like the mm -hmm. hell scenes go? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The like uh, yeah, like early Italian. Oh yeah, Christian especially artworks. that. Yeah. Especially, um, I actually was looking at when I went to Italy, and I saw a bunch of like really early like stained glass window art, and like just like some really cool stuff, and that helped inspire, especially with um, the heresy. Uh, um, image and also the photos you saw with the members and stuff, those were like little mini mood boards, and so that really helped also push this project into a more, I guess, uh, becoming a reality type thing if this were going to go even further. So, anyone else? Yes. So the scepters are made of brushes? Or yes. Or are they an assortment of different things? Uh, they're made of brushes, but um, I'm I almost forgot uh, that uh, they can also, uh, because I said makeup is another way to create, um, you would like twist the top and they can also form into like either paint or inking brushes. Uh, and so it's like just like the many levels of hell, there's like different ways to interpret it, there's different ways to use the scepters or the brushes. Cool. Do you have a plan for which, you obviously haven't thought out which number is which um, sin, but mm -hmm. did, you, did you also uh, think about like which brush, like the crease brush, like the liner brush? Yes, did you also, like, think yes I did. Actually, like, um, just a girl brush, sorry. Yeah, yeah. like, uh, actually, like, I did a uh, type of, like, uh, foundation brush for violence, because it's, like, usually there's the quote of, like, you uh, beat your mug to, like, you know, yeah. and so it's, like, it's a dark humor, but it's, like, <laughs> yeah, so I did think out specifically of, like, and then it's, like, I did more of an eyeshadow brush for greed and uh, for wrath. I did um, another type of, like, foundation and, like, or, like, cream brush. So, yes, I did think about that when well, creating it. Anyone else? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna ask you what part of Italy did you go to? I'm sorry, what? What part of Italy did you go to? Oh gosh, uh, I mostly uh, Venice, and then I also visited um, just like more touristy areas as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, um, it was just really hot. Yeah. <laughs> Super fun though. Uh, very fun, fun, and interesting time. Uh, very beautiful historic building. So I don't remember other than that. But thank you. Yeah, yeah. The architecture there is mind blowing. You, you don't think about like how young America is until it goes somewhere that's like. I mean, yeah, and you're like the 
is still around, and then you're like compared to like newer, like 20, 21st century buildings, you're like they're falling apart. Like, yeah. There's something about the old structure. When, when did you go? When is it? When? To Italy? Yeah. Um, I would say back when I was in probably freshman or second year of high school. Okay. So it was quite a bit ago, but I still remember it vaguely. And uh, also, uh, I did um, visit also Rome too, and they did not like me very much. <laughs> they, you could tell like the architecture. <laughs> and I was just like, I just want to look at the pretty sculptures. <laughs> <laughs> it was very fun. Very fun. York does not believe in air conditioning. No. Like, I've been there before, but oh my goodness. It, it was like, I think we went here like August too. It was like, oh. yeah. it, It's great that you were able to go to Venice. It's, mm -hmm. like, it's grounding now. Yeah, I know. So I was like, oh, did you go two years ago? <laughs> oh, yeah. Was, I was so mad that I got to go before. That stuff unfortunately is like happening. And even then, when I went, they were like, "Yeah, unfortunately, all the seeds are so sinking," and they did say that. But it's heartbreaking. But at the same time, I'm just grateful I got to see it. I was there in 2010, mm -hmm. and it was already a conversation because they had floods. When I was there, yeah. it was like fine, but a lot of the um, lower businesses were recovering from a recent flood that they had. Oh yeah. Do you ever get to go back, like, Florence and Pisa have a lot of really great, like, hell scenes and stuff like that. That was one of my favorite things about going there and looking at the cathedrals with the, the like, the last judgment pieces and the triumph of death pieces and all the crazy, all the crazy demonic hell scenes and stuff. It's, like, so cool and kind of crazy to me that um, artists used to paint stuff like that, you know? It seems yeah. almost kind of modern. Like fantasy fiction, some of the images you see, it's really cool. Thank you so much. Okay.